All right. Now, we can randomly percuss at this point. Um, if you like, you can also just go ahead and do the harp with the umbilicus since you are um, now doing your palpation. And we're looking to see if there's any herniation back there, any grittiness, anything of that nature. While we're here, okay, and she has a really active reflex on her tummy. Pretty cool. And notice once again, even with this, it's one side to the other, right? Comparing. Much more of the top than, than with the lower. Okay. When we talk about percussion, Now, of course, when we are ready to percuss out the uh, liver, we have to go up high or to come low. All right. I prefer to start make a vicular line here at the um, synthesis and work my way up. And as I'm doing that, you and I will both listen, okay, for a change, okay? And because we have clothing, you know, typically you would come here and work your way down between the ribs as you come through. That's about it, don't you think? Now, remember that liver is sitting up and then it's over. So we're going to go here at the umbilicus and we're going to go up. <coughs> and then we come here to the xiphoid. And usually, if you think you've heard it, you heard it, okay? Now, at this point, we go ahead and percuss out the spleen, but we want to see what the liver is measuring. So, using the um, centimeters, we've got a 4.5. You're a short person. This way, so we don't want to be here yet. Okay. 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 All right, so we write those measurements down. Now, okay, now to do the spleen, you can come over this way just a little bit. Very good. And we'll think about the uh, anterior axillary, the middle axillary line, and the posterior. We also want to stay somewhere around this uh, 10 through 12 uh, rib as we are percussing. We're just trying to tell the difference between timpani Okay, 
So we got a pretty good idea. Now, if you wanted, you could mark all of this off. Okay, not that we're going to measure, but just to have an idea of where the spleen is. Okay. Now, have you just kind of dug out? So what we've done here, we've been able to isolate. Okay, the bladder. A good idea where the kidneys are, the uh, liver. We're working our way all around through the pancreas and all, working our way over to the spleen, the, our, our kidney on the left, and then all of this area with the colon and then the bladder and all down here that we've been all over this area, okay? <coughs> now, in order to capture the liver, you want to do that, you want to take your hand like this, your left hand, and go right to the costal vertebral angle, right in the small part of her back. You want to take this hand, not the nails, but the basically the pads of the fingers, and go here to the line, to the line that you drew. This lets you know where the border is, okay, from what you were able to hear, okay? You want now for your patient to take a deep breath in, and once again, that's going to push the diaphragm. The diaphragm is going to take the liver down and blow it out. And as she blows out, you reach in, and as you're reaching in, you're pushing up from the back. You can feel me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you are also coming in from the top, so you're coming like this, okay, at an angle, right at your line. So deep breath in, and then blow it out for us. Okay, very good. Now, in order to uh, try to capture the spleen, we want to just take this left hand from the back, carry it right over, okay? And we're trying to get up under, up and under, okay? So deep breath in, and then out. Oops, I'm going to put these nails in there. Okay, one more time. Very good. All right, thank you very much. Now, in order to try to capture the kidneys, come more over to the center, back through here at the small of her back. You want her to take a deep breath in, blow it out. If you're going to feel anything, remember you're going to be able to feel or palpate the right one, not the left one. Okay, again, deep breath. Oh, that was quick. Okay, very good. All right. Now, at this point, we have inspected, auscultated bowel sounds and vascular sounds for breweries. We um, palpated, starting from about one centimeter all the way down to four centimeters, and we also did the rebound tenderness. We checked out our umbilicus. We did our abdominal reflexes in this, in this area. Uh, after this, we went back and we did a deliberate per, uh, percussion to do, be able to determine the borders of the liver. Mid-cavicular line, we started, I prefer to start, in the area of tympani down in the, in the abdomen, going up till there's a change of dullness for the, top of the, for the bottom of the mm -hmm. liver, the lower border, and then coming back up if we can from the second um, rib uh, working our way down and down and down and down once again until we are able to be able to determine where the um, top board of the liver is. Then we came over to um, the um, um, mid-sternal line, sternal border, and worked our way up from the umbilicus once again in tympani until we came up here into our dullness. And then we started out here in the area of the lungs, the uh, um, a resonant sound, hyper-resonance, worked our way down until we heard a difference. And we marked all of this. We measured using the centimeter uh, side of our, of our ruler and got our two measurements, one for the, uh, for the big particular line, one for the sternal border. And then we went over, and even though we did not mark the liver off, I mean the uh, spleen off in the way that we wanted to, or could have, we have an understanding that it is here, okay? So therefore, we went ahead and had her breathe in, once again using the diaphragm to push the uh, spleen down. And as she uh, inhaled, as she exhaled, we gave her a bit more pressure, went in trying to capture the border here with the spleen, right? Okay. In addition to that, we came back to uh, the right side and down here just a little bit below, more towards the, uh, the uh, midline, we went in and we palpated and tried to catch uh, the right kidney. We came along and we did the same thing on the left, really having to push down and, and press up. Okay? Anything else? No. Okay.
keeping in, 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 in uh, consideration that our patient is very cooperative and her stomach is very relaxed. If, but yet she does have her legs uh, kind of elevated a little bit and we've taken some of the pressure off by raising the uh, top of the bed for her as well. Okay. Anything else, guys? You got it? Okay, let's go. Let's see how we do. Thank you very much.